V-Ray 7 for 3DS Max brings Gaussian splat support, virtual tours, V-Ray luminaires, and a whole lot more. Let's dive in and see what's new. First up, we've added support for rendering Gaussian splats. Meet the new kid on the block as far as point cloud-based environments go. Create highly detailed context for your scene effortlessly by simply importing a real-life-based environment that blends beautifully with your 3D assets. Build entire cityscapes with ease and take advantage of the scan data, utilizing it for accurate reflections, lighting, and stunning camera movements. Enhance the visual quality of your renders with the new Gaussian Splat support and produce complex scenes easier than ever. Next, say hello to V-Ray Luminaris. This new asset type is available in our ever-growing library Chaos Cosmos. It allows you to achieve more accurate lighting, faster, and instantly enhance the atmosphere of your designs. We're also excited to introduce Firefly Removal. This tool helps you eliminate those pesky bright spots in your renders, ensuring a cleaner and more professional image. It works seamlessly to reduce the time needed to produce final images, and all it takes is a single click. Check out the improved V-Ray Sun and Sky model. With nautical twilight support, it lets you create even more realistic sunrise and sunset renders and immersive animations. It captures natural lighting nuances better, enhancing your environmental renders. Plus, it allows you to render the sky at various observer altitudes, reaching up to several kilometers. Now you can create custom-shaped render regions. This gives you greater flexibility in rendering specific parts of your scene without wasting resources on areas that don't need it. Create multiple regions in any shape and focus exactly where you need. It's a great way to optimize render times and focus on detailed areas. We've also added a vignette layer, it's a simple yet powerful tool to add subtle focus to your renders, enhancing the overall composition of your images. Use this highly flexible new addition to the frame buffer and guide the viewer's eye to the important parts of your render. Moving on with another exciting new addition to V-Ray's frame buffer, non-destructive color correction presets. Browse through different film look and grading options effortlessly. Take advantage of the thumbnail view and preview your image without applying a specific look. And when you do select one, revert back anytime without losing any original data. The new color correction presets are a fantastic way to try out various grading options quickly. Another big update accessible once again straight from the VFB, virtual tours with automatic hotspots. The easiest way to guide your viewer through your scenes and provide them an immersive and interactive experience. This feature makes your projects more engaging and user-friendly. Scattering instances just got easier with our new brush mode. This tool allows you to paint instances directly onto your scene, offering precise control and creativity. Fine-tune your instances with the new brushing technique. It's perfect for detailed and artistic distribution of elements like foliage or crowds. Enjoy faster scene export, especially for scenes with heavy scatter usage. This improves your workflow efficiency, saving you time on large projects and when submitting scenes to Chaos Cloud or any other render farms supporting V-Ray. It's a must-have for handling complex scenes more effectively. Thanks to texture map-based scatter instance distribution, you can now easily choose and switch between different density styles. Distribute instances more realistically and efficiently across your scene and browse through the different choices for distribution maps in the Chaos Scatter library. Next up, Asset Variants. Chaos Cosmos now offers asset variants starting with a selected category of assets. This improvement allows you to manage and switch between different versions of your assets seamlessly. No replacement and no re-imports. Simply pick the perfect asset variation to match the look and feel of your scene. Get a detailed report on time spent calculating shaders, exporting scenes, and compiling geometry and displacement. With V-Ray Profiler, you can optimize render times and maximize hardware performance, gaining valuable insights into every aspect of your rendering process. You can't talk about scene management without mentioning the V-Ray Lister. Now with a new geometry tab, you can manage and tweak multiple V-Ray geometry objects like proxies, 
decals, and more at once directly from the Lister's UI. Also, you can control each aspect of the object without the need to look for it in the viewport and select it. Experience a much faster time to first pixel, especially with V-Ray GPU. Thanks to optimizations in rendering scattered geometry and texture-heavy scenes, you'll see your renders start much quicker, speeding up your workflow. It's a significant boost for productivity. V-Ray GPU now supports caustics. This allows you to render caustics more efficiently by fully leveraging GPU hardware, delivering stunning results with impressive speed. Having caustics will significantly enhance the realism of water and glass materials in your projects. These are just some of the amazing new features in V-Ray 7 for 3DS Max. We can't wait to see how you transform your creative process and what you create.